and this was recently, I got him a Money Man feature for free. Mm-hmm. You did? So, nigga, did he tell y'all that? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yeah. And that's why you can go out here and sign artists and, you know, help them to get on and stuff yeah. like that. What, what? Let me ask you this. You got to answer me on this because he came on the show, too, and he was very sentimental about this. Mm-hmm. What happened with Baby Young and man? I'm a soldier in the sky, but you know it, I'm with it. Love, forgive me for my lies, y'all know I've been sinning. Uh, Baby Youngin, if you want me to be really transparent, it was a lot of beef going on in the city. And he had a leaked, it was like a leak a leaked audio of him saying, I don't know who he, which rapper he said, but it was just like, I, I can't, I don't, it's just too much going on for me to just be around that you know what I'm saying? But he felt like was when it, he moved was to uh, to LA that yeah. that caused a lot of nah, it. Because nah. he wasn't here. No, I don't know. Nah. He said the label just all of a sudden they wasn't really helping him he do was anything about after that. that too. Was the label. Yeah, right. you're no, a part of that. No, too. I never I never my homeboy Third found him. That's right. That's right. right. I didn't find him. I've never signed him. When Third brought him to me, it was two labels that wanted him. But Third being my friend was like, that I'm going with you because you have the say cheese, the platform and shit. So I took him to Say La Vie in Miami, and um, and then um, I don't really know. Like we tried to push him or whatever, and then it just it just flatlined. Going against the label is like going against a shark in the water. You're not gonna win. Yeah. So when whenever things started to decline or you felt like things weren't going right, did you reach out to Sean or did you try to work through through the Say Cheese platform anymore? Not really, man. I feel like Sean didn't do me right, bro. Like, uh, Sean, cool, cool, cool as a person. I know a lot of people like him. I know he got a lot of pull, but I just feel like it's like the same story. You feel me? I feel like Sean, Sean didn't really look out for me the way he was supposed to. My manager, my ex manager, third didn't look out for me the way he was supposed to. You feel me? I feel like shit on the real. They left me out to dry. Yeah, but I have no, I have, I have nothing to, nothing bad to say about him. Like he's a talented guy. It was just with the you running around here saying stuff that could put people in harm's way. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. before I met you, like you know what I'm saying? Like, like bro, I just met you and you talking crazy about people out here that's really that's really got shit going on. So was it the people that he was talking about? Those people that you were friends with, the people you were like, people, I don't know if he label? said for, I don't know if he said like trap boy or mo- something. It was something like that that bro. was like leaking out like. That was about to like leak, mm-hmm. and so it didn't get leaked. I don't know. I can't remember. Like <laughs> that's what I'm saying. When you actually that, it kind of like cut me off guard. Cause, <laughs> but I, when, when that happened, I kind of was just stepped back for a minute. I didn't yeah. stop f-ing with him. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. still posting him and shit. But um, does he seem like he's potential and everything? Yeah, he had potential. You see what Mexican rappers doing now? Oh, they- I get famous. I'ma still be out here bangers, twisting bangers, no. playing danger. Come on, baby, pull up here, turn you. Shake that killing it, That's bro. what I told him. He was the first one. He was the first yeah. one. Y'all had it for everybody. Come on now. It wasn't, I mean, D-Baby was grinding the shit and you had, um. Mess and OT wasn't even thought about, to, to my knowledge. Like, Baby Youngin was that guy, but I, I just don't know what happened. He still um, hurt behind it, because when we interviewed yeah. him, you can see the hurt. Yeah, it's hurt. And yeah. he yeah. still hurt. So, yeah. I, I would love for y'all well, to, to just did, talk. No, nah, I did, and this was recently, I got him a Money Man feature for free. Mm-hmm. You did? So, did he tell y'all that? No. Come on, bro. See mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Niggas only tell their side of the story. I don't think he... No, he, he didn't mention it. He was hitting Money Man up for a feature for, like, months. And Money Man busy. Like we, like I said, people, people get busy. busy. So, I text Money Man myself, like, bro, I need it. If you, want me, if you want me to pay, I got it. But he was like, nah, bro, I got you. That nigga sent the feature the next day for Baby Youngin to go on his new tape. That's big. So yeah. for him to say that, like mention, he didn't it, say nothing really no, bad. No, 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 but, but, yeah. it, but still mention. He just mentioned the hurt though. Yeah, the, but mention the good through. too that just recently yeah, happened. How long mention. ago? This had to be a year ago. So oh, yeah, oh, we just, should, yeah, yeah, we just said, we just, yeah, he should have mentioned that. Yeah, because the thing yeah. is that he'll say, "Well, I don't have nothing against Sean." You know, people say that and whatever, yeah, but then right. yeah, but then <laughs> when you're talking about the situation, you can know that you. It still, was almost like he was gonna sign a bigger deal, and you guys, you guys, detoured him a different way, wasn't it? Like that, something. It was like that. It was so many people reaching out to him, and oh, well, at what stage though? At the beginning. At the beginning. I mean, no, nah, both deals were the same size. 
Like okay. uh, uh, John, um, damn, I forgot his name. Cinematic wanted him, and Say La V wanted him. Mm-hmm. And they kind of both wanted him because you know how both labels wanted him because somebody was interested in him. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was like, damn, this label want him. I want him too. Then that's the way it be. So it's kind of like both labels were the same offer. Really, it was just different teams. Mm-hmm. Wow. So man, I think uh, that's dope that y'all even was able to pull it off and get it to where it was. Yeah, that's he bought. Big, I think he Dallas. bought his mom a house. He did buy. It. He said like, that on here too. It was a lot of W's that came out. That's of that. what he got out so, of it. Yeah, I think that's dope, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.